snuck out early on you guys. I had this out last month, but I've been protecting it with my mini greenhouse or my cloach and a lot of mulch around it so that I could get a head start and I'm going to have that grow up the neck because it like to crawl and it's real long like a trombone. So snuck that out. Happy to see the frost didn't get to it. Look at there. Boom. Got a good head start with my cloaches. So if you're in a cooler climate, I'm in zone seven, but if you're up north and it's still kind of cold, you want to put some plants out, go ahead and put them out and get you some kind of cloach. You can use a soda bottle, Gatorade bottle, five gallon water bottle. Just cut the bottom off of it and plant. So I'm gonna take you down to where I'm gonna do the instructional media at, but I had to stop and show you guys this trombone squash trombone squash doing good this year but well, it's actually my first year growing it so I misspoke the trombone squash is doing good in spring 2012 but yeah got it going up the apparatus it likes to climb these are called tentacles so it will attach itself and then I'll give you guys a tip and trick once it start getting a little gangly if you need it to get back on track just pull the plant over and use your clothespin and pin it in so that until the tentacles take hold. So uh, look at that trombone squash. It gets it gets about four or five times bigger than that. But the seed is down here in the bottom, and then all of this is edible. But it gets, like I say, about four or five times bigger than that. Come get your, come get your squash right there, Moisola. Is it good, Moisola? You like it, Jazari? KK, you like it? Mira, it's good. Jason, you can tell the truth. You don't like it? Okay, that's one. That's one, two, three, four. One no. In no. Lenny, you want some more squash? Yes. Is it good? Not me. You get to move. Jason, I mean uh, Stevie. Uh -huh. So what kind of what kind of squash is it that y'all want? What kind of squash is it? Here, hold it. What kind of squash is that? How it tastes? Good. You want some more? No, don't bite it. You want some more? Yeah. All right, I cut you up some more. <laughs> you want some more? Who wants some more? Me. All right, all right. You want another one, KK? Now, just think if I put some seasoning on it, that was just straight raw, cut. I grow, you grow. Mr. Anderson here with I Grow You Grow Dot Biz, where my kitchen garden is your kitchen garden. And what you're looking at is my trombone squash. Showed it to you in other videos as a small, small plant. Um, it is an heirloom. Sometimes it's called Italian squash. Some research has showed me that it may be in the gourd family, but it tastes just like squash. So uh, what I am doing is letting this one get very large so that I can ensure that I have nice big seeds. But the trade-off to letting it get big is that it's sucking up nutrients when it get to the vine there and then the ones that come up on the vine afterwards don't get enough nutrients and they seem to die off. So what I'm going to do is cut this big one. See that? I'm gonna cut that one off and hopefully I'll get more 
nutrition going back up and for the new small ones to get started and produce more produce. But you see I have plenty of trombone squash so I'm going to save these seeds and try these seeds, see what my germination rate is and make this trombone squash available as I grow you grow seed stock. So that is my trombone squash. Fare ye well, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> So, I got two pots here actually. I've done this one already. So, it's got the same mix. Let's put a little more on the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a side by side comparison with you guys on the Magic Grow Ring. So, you got to keep up with the uh, YouTube channel so you can get the side by side comparison with the Grow Ring. One of them will have a Grow Ring and one of them will not will keep you posted. So out of these two plants, put this one here and this one here. That one is a little bigger. So I'm gonna throw the grow ring on this one and give that one a little advantage and we'll see how it comes out. So I've started these from seed. These are uh, bush cucumbers. So I just set it down in there, break it up a little bit. Right. Come closer, please. Uh, I want to show you guys how to insert your grow ring. So you dig your trench around. Just put your grow ring in. Put your dirt on top of your grow ring. need to, like I say, water this twice a week because it's a container. If it was in a regular garden, you would only do it once a week. So, this one has the magic grow ring, so we need some way to mark this. I'll mark it on the outside, and then this one does not have the magic grow ring. Nice roots, though. So, we'll set that in. Now, you got your cucumbers in your container garden and you want to finish this off with some mulch because like I say it's going to get dry <laughs> if it get direct sun. Greetings and love to one and all. Mr. Anderson here giving you guys an update on the magic grow ring on April 28th around the first quarter we planted a side by side comparison of a bush cucumber and this was the one without the magic grow ring it was bigger it had a head start so it's looking good when I made the potting soil actually got some flowers on it you can see the greenness in it so now let me show you the one with the magic grow ring that was substantially smaller because we gave this plant a head start so let me put that one up here And this is the one with the magic grow ring. You definitely can see that it has caught up with the plant as far as size and that it is much, much greener. Much greener, looks very healthy more healthy you can see how green the magic grow ring cucumber is versus the no magic grow ring cucumber the only advantage i see is that the no magic grow ring is got a few flowers on it but the magic grow ring cucumber is about to set some flowers because it was smaller but it has its tentacles coming out 
and it is much much greener and it just looks more vibrant overall and that's what we promoting a healthy strong plant it's not a miracle grow where you're getting a huge fruit and fast and everything we just want happy strong vigorous long producing plants and as you can see this is just the first grow ring so the first quarter moon is coming up it's time to change the grow ring so I'll show you guys that it has broken down magically you can see we placed the grow ring down at the base and there is no grow ring there now it's not necessarily magic that's just how it works which to me is magic so I'll place another grow ring in sorry about that but you can clearly see that there is no grow ring there it has degraded because it is 100% biodegradable so let me cut and put the grow ring in because I'm one handed but you can see those roots I grow you grow okay so I got the magic grow ring back in just the second one so I will catch you guys on the next quarter moon and show you some more side by side progress without with fare ye well Mr. Anderson. <laughs>